A sign on a street corner is bringing back some of the old luster of Central Avenue's jazz heyday. Anna Marcos was there and helps guide us on a trip down jazz memory lane. Can you believe this dusty corner of South LA was once ground zero for the jazz era on the West Coast? And now the area regains a small hint of its snazzy sparkle with the renaming of Dolphins of Hollywood Square, named after late businessman and music producer John Dolphins' legendary record store. He named the Dolphins of Hollywood because he wasn't allowed to open a business in Hollywood. So Hollywood wouldn't allow him, so he said he's going to bring Hollywood to South Central. So Dolphin and his record store, which used to be in the last part of this block, were a huge fixture here in the Central Avenue of the Jazz era, back in the 40s and 50s. And all the white kids from, from Hollywood, they would come there, so he, he did what he wanted to do. He brought them to South Central to enjoy the music, you know, to enjoy the shop and, and mingle with the customers and mingle with the celebrities that came through. It didn't matter what race or what their religion was, everybody was a friend. Back in the store's heyday, people came to Central Avenue to hear the music of such greats as Sam Cooke, Charles Mingus, and Billie Holiday, and then they went to Dolphin's record store to buy the music. Not only did John Dolphin uh, help lay the groundwork for bringing rhythm and blues here to L.A., uh, but he really set the tone for being an entrepreneur, a businessman, an entrepreneur, and someone who was connected to the community. I'm told that he uh, was famous for uh, pioneering the buy one, get one free concept. <laughs> Dolphin's grandson, Jamel, has written a biography on his grandfather, as well as a critically acclaimed musical recorded in Hollywood, which is running at the Kirk Douglas Theater. Central Avenue is important in the history of Los Angeles. Dolphins is important. All of Central Avenue is important. In. A sign is a small thing, but many here hope it's not just another street sign, but a symbol of a new renaissance for the Central Avenue corridor. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week. For more information on the musical, visit recordedinhollywood.com.